and welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where I want to make a case against star ratings, or grading, or percentages, or any attempt to put a score, or a number, or a grade on an anime series, or a movie, or a manga, or any given work like that. <sighs> to start off, let's think about all the different elements of an anime series, for example. There's the voice acting, there's the animation, and that can be sliced and diced into multiple different ways. There's naturalism uh, of the movement, there's number of drawings per second, there is uh, how much it stays on model or drifts off model, there is stylism and then the, the, the style of the animation itself. There's also obviously directing and editing. There's cinematography, use of color, art style in general, uh, sound effects, visual effects, and special effects in general. Then of course there's story and plot and characters and how they, their relationships um, change. And then there's character development in terms of whether the characters actually change uh, permanently or just temporarily. There's length of the series. There is how much they pack into that series. And you're telling me that all of that can be condensed down to three stars. Moreover, you're trying to tell me that that movie that you gave four stars to is 25% better than the one that you gave three stars to in any reasonable approximation of 25%. Again, assuming, obviously, assuming that you mean, you know, it's four stars total, that would be 25. Anyway, I don't buy it. You know, I, I don't buy that those things actually matter. That, 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 that is an accurate representation of how uh, much better one work is than the other. But moreover than that, let's dig a little deeper. Um, what does better mean? And I'm not being facetious here. Literally. What does it mean when somebody says this is better than that? Especially a, a reviewer of a, something like an anime series, which is 26 episodes, let's say, of character development and art and animation and voice acting, all these different elements. Do you think you, you can, or anyone can, objectively prove that show A is 20% better than show B? Of course not. It's subjective, it's an opinion, which is fine, that's great, but let's think about that a little deeper. If it's subjective, and it's just your opinion and your personal stamp on it, do you think I have your preferences and your tastes? Do you think I'm gonna match what you like and don't like? and this is what le leads to that score. I mean, that score, if it's, if it's a subjective you know, statement, it's probably not gonna match what interests me. It might match partly, but more importantly, how well do you think it matches the tastes and preference of the average person who visits your site or your channel? Maybe a little closer than me, but we don't all have the same tastes or preferences. We really don't. Um, we like a lot of different things. And anime is a vast medium, manga even more so. So I really don't understand why people put these grades or numbers other than a, a desire to attach a number to something. And I understand that. You know, and I'm not saying the people who do this are evil or they're wrong or they should stop. What I'm saying is that I think that's a pretty subjective thing to um, put on a review that's ultimately much more about the reviewer than about the person reading the review. And what's the review for? Is the review there to validate the reviewer's opinion? Or is it to be helpful to the reader or the watcher? If it's to be helpful to the reader or the watcher, then it should be more about what's actually in the show. It should be about the art style and the animation style and the animation quality and um, the character development and how the characters have relationships and all those various elements of the show than about the reviewer's personal opinion. The reviewer will have an opinion, obviously. We all have opinions. 
we all have a subjective take on things, but why do we front load that in our reviews?